In today's video, I'll be discussing the eight new features of the Yaesu FTM 500. Stick around. Hey, Steve here, Kilo 4 Sierra Romeo Foxtrot. The Yaesu FTM 500, which recently came out, has eight new functions they've uh, introduced for this radio. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, to start out, we're going to look at the uh, one touch switching keys, uh, which are these two keys here the up and down arrow and the uh, display key here. Now, on the up and down arrow, pressed once, will switch your main band with your sub band and back, as shown here. Now, if you press and hold this button down, and I don't want to do this because it'll mess up the channel or mess up my radio and I have to go correct it, but if you press and hold the up and down uh, key here, it'll actually copy the data from your main channel to your sub channel. Now the key next to that, the display key, that'll actually switch from your dual band mode to your scope operation and back again once you press it again. Again, the display button here switches from your dual band view to your uh, single uh, view and scope and back again. Next we'll look at the search and go and the touch and go operations in the scope screen. So we have to first get ourselves into the scope screen so press your display button to get in that scope screen. And once we're in the scope screen we're going to look first at the search and go. And to get, use the search and go operation uh, just locate any frequency down here in the scope that you want to go to and just press that. Alright, that frequency pops up. That is the search and go. Now, if you want to go ahead and rewrite the uh, uh, sub uh, frequency into your main frequency, just press and hold and that is now in your main VFO, v or frequency that is. Now you can do this as many times as you want. If you find a frequency, and if you want to write that, write that to the main frequency, there you go. That's that simple. That is the touch and go operation. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the easy channel checking with the PMG function, and the PMG stands for Primary Memory Group. Uh, this memory group will hold up to five different uh, frequencies in the database. Uh, if you want to add a sixth frequency, it's on a first in, first out basis. So if you have five in memory already and you add a sixth, the first one entered it will be uh, overwritten. Uh, one after that, the second one will be overwritten and so forth. And it'll go through the cycle, well, like I said, first in, first out basis. But it holds a uh, total of up to five different frequencies. So let's say you want to go ahead and put a frequency into your PMG group. Uh, to do so, let's say we're going to put in the 147300. All you have to do with the being in the uh, main band, press the PMG button up here, your key. Press and hold. PMG memory write will be shown, and now it's written into the PMG memory. To access PMG, go ahead and press uh, and release. And there you have three frequencies. And as you can see, the 14676 frequency just popped up. That's one of my frequencies in my memory group. I only have three in here at the moment. That means there's traffic on here. I've got the volume turned down so you can't hear it, and we're having a severe thunderstorms right now, so as people talking about the weather right now. Now, and so if you hear the thunder in the background, that's what it is. We're not under attack or anything. So anywho, uh, you, have, you can put up to five in here. Now, to scroll between frequencies, just press your knob and you can go through your different frequencies. I only have three in here, as I said. Now, if you want to take, our last one put it, we put in here was a 147.300. Let's say you want to take that 147.300 out of there. So, you go ahead and once you get the frequency up on your main band, press your back button and it releases it. It, it takes that out of memory. So if you look at this down here, I went from 3 to 2 again. I got my 146 and my 444725 in here. 
Now, if you want to get back to your main screen, simply just press the PMG button again, and you're out of it. Okay, next we're going to be talking about the grouping memories in the same frequency by band using MAG, or the memory auto grouping. First thing you need to do, uh, it doesn't matter if you're in the, looking at the uh, main band, if you're in VHFO mode, uh, you need to get into memory. So let's go ahead and go into memory. Okay, once you're in memory, go ahead in the band key down here. You can toggle, hitting this key, you can toggle between your different groups. In this case, I'm on my memory group containing all VHF frequencies, indicated by the M VHF. Here, it's M UHF, which means obviously all UHF frequencies. Pressing again, it says M all. That means this is not all of them. So I can scroll through and you'll see VHF UHF here. Under memory VHF, only VHF frequencies will show. And with MUHF, only UHF frequencies will show. Now, you can put this into a sub, uh, you can change this to the sub band as well. You can just hit your band or channel, band select. And what you had would be down here, the memory UHF. Now, if I want to change the A, the main band, to a different band, like let's say VHF, there we go. So you can swap these back and forth between bands, the main band and the sub band. Uh, let's say I want to take, uh, for example again, take the uh, main band, I want to switch it to all. I can go ahead and place that in the all group, hit your arrows, and now that's in the sub band. And you can toggle back and forth and switch uh, whichever way you want to keep this. That's basically how the uh, memory, <coughs> excuse me, the memory auto grouping works with the uh, FTM 500. Next, we're going to look at the VFO band skip function. This is a function that only recalls the bands that you actually use, so like your air band, UHF, VHF. If you don't want to use some of those bands, you can block those out. To get to this, you have to be in VFO mode. So if you're in memory, uh, go ahead and press your VF or VM button to get to VFO mode. Once in VFO mode, press and hold down your band key. This brings up your air band, VHF, UHF, and other uh, frequencies here. To scroll up and down, use your function key to go to wherever you need to select. In this case, I'm just going to say other. Once you're in your uh, band that you want to select here and turn off, go ahead and press your function key. That'll toggle, toggle it to the on-off position. Turn your function key till you get to your desired results. Press the function a key again to lock into position. And that's turned off. Now, to get out of this screen, all you have to do is press any key on your uh, you know, front key pad if you want. That takes you right back. Now, to change this, if you want to turn that back on, again, make sure you're in VFO mode. Press hold your band, function key to scroll down to your desired location, press your function key, turn on, press your function key to lock your selection in, and again, any key on here will take you back to the main screen. And if you're in VFO and you want to get back into memory, obviously, just press your VM uh, key there and that'll take you back into memory. Next, we'll look at the customized function list, the CFL. With this, you can register up to eight frequently used functions for easy access. To get to this function, just press and release your function key. This takes you to your function screen. You can see you have eight different selections here. Using your function key again, you can select, move around to make your selection. And in this case, we're just going to try or change the transmit power for this particular frequency, let's say low. So once you've selected your function that you want to change, it'll be highlighted. Press and release your function key again. Down here is where it's located. It says hi. Turn your knob, function knob, to your desire. Uh, whatever change you want to make it here. Press your function key again. 
that locks it into place. Any key will take you out of here. I just use a back key and I'm back to the main screen. Okay, let's go ahead and discuss the C4 FM Digital. With this, you can change between digital, FM, or an operation mode that switches automatically between digital and analog. To get to this function, you press your DX key on the top here, keeping an eye on this FM right here. If pressed, and it gets into the DN with the uh, red DN with a line over it, this is an automatic mode. Now, this means that the uh, radio will detect whether the signal is digital or analog and will operate accordingly. In other words, it'll switch between digital and automatic, or digital and analog that is autom automatically and on its own. Press the button again. The DN without the line indicates it is functioning only in a uh, digital mode. Press again. When it says FM, that means that the radio is functioning in analog mode. Now, if you should see an FM with a line over it, and I don't know if I can pick this up. Right here, it's in, in this particular frequency, it's in digital uh, automatic. So it would pick up if somebody were to uh, transmit in analog. Uh, if somebody would transmit in analog, this would show up as FM, as it does here. Except the FM the, well, would have a line over it. The line over an FM mode means that the radio is in automatic uh, switching mode for as far as digital and auto, uh, analog transmissions go. Now the last function I'm not going to really be able to demonstrate is the group monitor IDs. Uh, for this, I'd need to have a group of people in a specific group uh, with specific ID numbers. And with this feature, you can actually pull up a user by their call sign and find out exactly what direction they are from you, how far away, and uh, basically locate their position itself. Let's take a look at what the uh, little diagram shows here. As you can see from the diagram, what you first have to do is press the group function button, the GM button on top of your radio. And this would bring up a list of uh, your users in a specific group. Uh, it would also give their call sign, plus how far they are away from your location. And you could also check out exactly what position they're at as far as uh, in relation to where you're located at. Again, I can't really display this particular function since I do not uh, belong to a group function, don't have a group function going, nor do I have members that could help uh, demonstrate this particular function itself. Now that's the list of the eight features that are in this particular radio, this new radio from uh, Yesu, and hopefully you might be able to put some of these new functions uh, to use. I'd like to try out that group function feature where you could actually uh, get a group of people and uh, as a group with a specific ID and uh, monitor where they're at. That'd be a great function for all the, say, Aries or, or POTA or something like that. But maybe one day we can try that out. Well, I hope the information I've given you has been helpful, and if I've left anything out, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and clicking that like button. Well, you know the routine. Now, I intend to do some more videos on this FTM 500 in the future, uh, but if there's anything in specific you'd like me to discuss, please leave it in the comments below, and I'll see if I can get to it as soon as possible. Again, thanks for watching. This is Steve. Kilo 4, Sierra Romeo Foxtrot. Till next time, 73.